welcome back everyone hope everyone is fine have a blessed day to all in this video we are going to learn about powerpoint 2010 that's basics part 2 so in this video first we are going to learn about slide layout then customizing slide layout deleting a placeholder adding the text box and using blank slide then inserting a new slide and taking the copy and paste the slide taking duplicate delete and move a slide and managing slides and presentation next is to view outline of a slide and to view notes in a slide so here about slide layout so placeholders are arranged in different ways in different layout when you create a new slide you can apply a suitable layout to it your slide layout arranges the different things you want to put in your slide in a particular style depending on what all types of content you want to add you can choose the layout so in this example the layout is called title and content and include title and content to the placeholder each layout has a name or you can also tell from the image of layout how the placeholder will be arranged in each so here the slide contains placeholders the placeholders are arranged on slides that are enclosed by dotted lines so placeholders can contain many different items like text or uh, pictures and charts some placeholders have placeholder text uh, which you can replace they also have small icons Uh, for specific commands such as insert picture insert chart and insert click add move your mouse over each icon in the place holder to see the type of uh, content you can insert in it so let us learn how to use slide layouts so next one is to insert a new slide so from the home tab click the bottom half of new slide commands to open uh, the menu of slide layout option select the slide you want to insert here the new slide will appear to your presentation so like this you can do it so desired layout we can select to instantly add uh, a slide the user the same layout as the one you have selected click the top half of the new slide commands so to use a blank slide to add content and image as your wish you can use a blank layout so you yeah, slide without placeholder to your presentation that's blank slides can be designed on your own by adding your own text box pictures charts and more select the blank from the menu of layout option so here first you can select this layout and you can select the layout that you want so you can select the blank here so next comes that uh, customizing slide layout that's to change layout of an existing uh, slide 
so select the slide whose layout you want to change first and click the layout first we are selecting the slide then click the layout command here in the slide group on the home tab your menu will appear uh, with many options like this choose the layout uh, from the menu the slide layout will change in the presentation like this so layout is changed so how we are going to delete the placeholder so this placeholder you can easily change your layout by deleting unwanted or extra placeholders from any slides keep your mouse on the dotted border of the placeholder so it change to a uh, cross with directional arrows click the border to select it uh, then press backspace or delete on your keyboard the placeholder will remove from the slides yes like this so now we are going to see how to add a text box so in this a uh, text box allow you to add items to your current layout so that you can place text wherever you want on your slide first step from uh, the insert tab click the text box command second step is your cursor will turn into an upside down cross text box this cursor third step click hold and drag your mouse to draw a text box a text box will appear like this so now we are going to see how to copy a slide so this one is interesting first step one of the slide tab in the left pan select the slide you want to copy next click the copy command on the home tab you can also right click on the selected slide and choose copy in the left pan click just below the slide or between two slides to choose the place where you want to want the new copy to appear the horizontal line inserting point will help you to click exactly on it so so to copy right so like this the uh, line will appear so click the paste command on the home uh, tab you can also right click and choose paste the copy slide will appear like this this horizontal line right so once you copy the same slide will appear like this here we can copy where we want here we want to note to select multiple slides press and hold the control key on your keyboard and click the slides you want to select so next to duplicate a slide how to take the duplicate and other option to copy uh, copying and pasting a slide the option this option copy uh, copies the selected slides and in one step paste in direct directly before uh, this below it uh, in this option you can't specify the location where you want to paste the new slide this option is useful for uh quickly inserting similar slides so first step select the slide you want to duplicate and choose a new slide command choose the duplicate slide that is selected slide from the drop down menu like this and a copy of selected slide appear 
and are near the original so like this it will appear so we can replace this slide wherever we want now we are going to see how to delete a slide so to delete a slide we want to first we need to select the slide you want to move so once you select it press the delete or backspace a key on your keyboard the slide will be no more so like this you can delete so how to move a slide so first step is select the slide you want to move then click hold and drag your mouse to a new location a horizontal line will appear uh, to place the insert then release the mouse button the slide will appear in the new location like this you we can move it so managing the slide and presentation so this as you add uh yeah as you add slides to your presentation this powerpoint offers you a uh, you a variety of views and tools to help your help you to organize and prepare your slide show so about slide view you will know to assess the different slides view and use them for various tasks in normal view the different slide view commands are located on the bottom right of the powerpoint window so this is a normal view second one is the slide shorter view and reading view and slide show view one by one we'll see in detail so first one is the normal view here so this is the default view where you can create and edit your slides uh, you can also move a uh, slides in your slide tab in the left pan so this is the first one and second one is the slide shorter view in this view mini size slides are arranged on the screen you can drag and drop a uh, slides either easily in this view you can also record uh, reorder them and see more slides at one time this is a good view to use to see in all the slides you need uh, are created and or in order so anything you can do it so third one this is a reading view this view fill more of the screen that's computer screen with the preview of your presentation uh, it includes each to use buttons for moving through the slides located at the bottom right so fourth one a slide shorter view this view completely fill the computer screen and this yes and this is the screen which the audience will see when uh, they view the presentation slide show view has an additional menu uh, that appears when you move your mouse over it across in uh, you to move through the slides and use and you can use some features you will need during the presentation the keys the arrow key page up page down space bar enter and to gain slide show we can use escape key so these are the things available there so this one uh, to view the that's outline of presentation so here the outline tab shows the text from all your slides in an outside form this allow you to quickly edit your slide text and view the content for mini slide at once so first step is click the outline uh, tab in the left pan so next an outline of your slide text appears like this 
you can type directly in the pan uh, to make changes in your text so this is the outline and adding notes to the slide right so powerpoint give you option to add notes to your slide called speaker notes uh, to help uh, your presentation for uh, your presentation that's uh, it help your prepare for your presentation okay so you can enter and view your speaker notes using the notes pan or the page this note page view yes like this to view notes in your slide how we can you write so first thing go to the view tab and you can uh, click the notes command in the presentation view group and you can type your notes in the text box or use the scroll bar to review your slide like this yes today content is over we'll meet in next video thank you take care be safe be happy and make others happy bye bye